So on the last time of this Nitro Express, yeah, that's where we're back out at again. You know, if you watched in the last following movie, video, TV series, yeah, the cord come out of it. So now we're here. I've done everything that I can do so far. I pulled the exhaust off, which consists of that nut right there, and then a spring. And that spring, I'm telling you right now, I don't even know why she was spring-loaded. But that thing nearly took out my eye. Would you believe that? Well, don't, if you don't believe it, I'd believe it. Because, mate, she shot off. She went to the pixie things, okay? So what we've done here is we've done all that. We've done undone the four Allen keys. You see the tools that we've used here. Multiple little screwdrivers and crap. We got to the part... Hmm, mate, I told you these things like whippersnippers, did I not? Do I need to take this to a motor, a friggin' mower mechanic? Or a whippersnipper mechanic? This looks like a miniature whippersnipper engine. I'm telling you now. I have no idea what I'm doing here. This is like a bras razu of mechanics. Tell me what the frig these little, like, Man, does it an exhaust have a condom? They look like bits and pieces from a condom. Oh. I am lost on this thing, alright? This here. That one's fake jewelry. This thing right here, I don't know where it come from. This part, I am flabbergasted. This thing here, I'm mortified. This, please, in the comments down below, tell me how I can put this thing back together. All right, but on another note, right, I've come to the conclusion of just in here, right? See in there? Can you see in there? That's called a glow plug, right? And I know for a fact, right? How do you tell if a glow plug works, charger works. I have no idea. Do you like? Because you put it on charge and stuff. Like it's like a battery. I'm guessing this thing is like a current holder. A current? A current. Voltage. Battery. Ah, look right there. See that word upside down. Rechargeable battery. 1.2 volts. Jesus. Oh, 1.2 volts. That's, oh, remember them uh, batteries when you were a kid and you stuck them on your tongue to see if they work? How about I, yeah, I know how to test this. Right. Well, put this on your tongue, dude. Tell me if it works. No, she's dead, man. She flat? Yeah. Sheesh. Hot diggity dang. Well, there we go. That's why it didn't start last time. And I'm coming back at you, don't get me wrong. See this, this is gonna be fixed. I just wanted to show you the rundown on what we've got so far. Man, the exhaust is off. The pulley system, for whatever you call this, I'm gonna jump on the phone and call my whippersnipper mechanic and see what he says, or what do you recommend? Because you know what I mean, mate? Like, Hot diggity dog, look at this thing. It's got like a friggin', can you see that? It's got like a chuck key in it that goes into this piece that, man, like friggin' winds up and binds up and turns down and goes around. I am flabbergasted. The exhaust, that spring, I'm telling you, launched all the way. Mm, she's probably like sitting right down there because I was sitting over the other side of the table and it nearly shot me in the eye and she's down in there, okay? Just down in there, yeah, there's a big culvert. Anyway, so I'm coming out you. I'm just letting you know where we're at at the moment on this project. Yes, we haven't ripped you for any views just yet because it still has the half a tank like it did last time, okay? We understand things around this kind of place just break. Well, don't pull them too hard. Hey. Don't pull 
Don't pull yourself too hard like a pull string. Anyways, I'm signing out. We broke it. We'll fix it. Well, you know I already pulled the exhaust off and did all that shit, right? We have fully blown going over this. I'm not saying that we are technicians or anything, but please. Yeah, Rory, move that wheel to the right. Can you see that? It's touching. Right? I don't know whether it's cambered because that's going to break. And the other side's exactly the same. Fuck. I don't know. Look how much it turns though. Oh, I know. It's like it's set up for drifting. What is a drift car? Oh, I know. I understand it's a drift car. But oi. We found out that problem. So we're going to... Yeah, look at that. Oh my Jesus, Lord Christ. The flex. No way. That thing's about to go hectic. No, that's supposed to be like that. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, there you go, see? But this bit right here, where it's like rubbing against the tires. No, it shouldn't be touching the wheels. I understand that. It's melting rubber to rubber. And another note, we know how to make this thing higher because we've been having like this issue. Right, we've been looking over this car lately and like this issue. Isn't there meant to be like cogs on that? I meant like... It's flat as a penny. It's like, I don't know. So, I'm going to friggin' video Rory. He's going to show you how to lift the rear of an RC Nitro car. Right, oi. So I'll say we lift it. Who sent me a message? No one sent you a message. See that? We took that out. Now it's raised. See that? We raised it by this much. Alright? Compared to this side. Low, slow, to hello, ho, all go. Now, we're hoping if we do this, and we work it out right, we're gonna tune this bad boy. Rory, are we gonna tune this bad boy? Yeah. We're gonna come back at you. And we might be bringing out a new thing. We're gonna be doing burnout competitions. Actually, we are dead set thinking about doing RC burnout comps as something to do. Not drifting because, man, actually, we're not even drifters. I think RC burnouts are the way to go. Right, so behold to the next project, on to the next one. I got you, old son. Peace out.